Hi and welcome students. In this video I'm going to be talking to you about Microsoft Excel 2016 and I'm going to show you how to verify your functions and formulas using the range finder. Let's go ahead and get started. So you'll see that on my screen here I have a list of products and their sales figures for uh, a period of time. And I went ahead and I created some formulas to add up some of those product sales. So over here we have products A, B, C, and D. So if I wanted to add those up, I could go right over here and if I click on it, I see that it totals 1857. And then I could see up here in my formula bar that it says B2 to B5. Now what I could do is I could look over here and I could say, all right, B2 to B5, that's fine, and I see that when I total those up, it does, that is the correct reference. So I could look up here and then go over here to kind of highlight and figure that out uh, by looking. However, if I want to really get good at verifying my formulas, I'm going to activate what is called the range finder. And so what the range finder does is that's whenever you double click on any formula or function, and let's say I double click this one, what's going to happen is when you double click it, it's going to allow you to edit this area but more importantly it's going to put a box a colored box around whatever figures you have selected for that function or formula so now by double clicking inside of there I could easily tell what range is currently selected so I say oh I'm looking for a B C and D well that's those four products right over there and so that is the correct function and so I say alright that's perfect and I can press enter and finalize that one more time and we see that it's perfect alright so let's take a look at this next one now this one's a little bit more complicated what if I want to add up A, E, I, and M? Well, without using the range finder method, I would have to say, okay, I look over here in my function uh, or formula bar and I say B2, B6, B10, B14, B2, B6. And you guys can see it starts taking a lot longer to try to look up and match these numbers. Now, this is just a example, but this could happen on a very large scale too, where not everything is in the same screen. So again, the best way to activate the range finder is to double click. And now I can see exactly where those products are or those references are listed. So I could see if I'm looking for A, E, I, and M now, I could see that's next to A, that's next to E, that's next to I, and that's next to M. So by double clicking, they all appear in different colors, blue, red, purple, green, so on and so forth, and they automatically show me exactly what I'm looking for. Now let's go to one that I did incorrectly. So let's take a look at this one down here. It says products D, E, K, and L. Now again, these ones aren't necessarily next to each other, so I'm gonna double click to view the formula and the range finder, and I say, okay, D is right there, E, and then K, oh, we've referenced H over here. So, so instead of having to go into the formula bar and rewrite the formula, now instead I could go right to the edge of that purple border, the one that's incorrect, and I could just click and drag this figure, which is again next to H, and I want it to be next to K, and I could just drag that figure down to where K is, so that it's now correctly referenced by K, and then the other one, which is L is B13, that one is correct. So now when I press enter, now that formula is correct. So again, this is a lot faster and a lot easier than having to always reference up to the formula bar with your eyes and then look over here also with your eyes and not see that visual cue of where the functions are actually being referenced. So this is a way that I use, it's a little tip and a trick that I use to um, uh, verify my formulas when I'm looking through Excel and it's a great way for my students who are just beginning at Excel to get comfortable with viewing uh, their functions and formulas formulas visually while they verify their references. So anyway, uh, I hope this video has helped you out. If it has, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.